Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to explain how you can add EasySky V2 to your project and what you need to do to get it running. For this example video I'm using one of the free assets that was free of the month a couple of uh, months ago. It's called Meadow Environment Set. And I just opened the level and that's all I did. This is the environment set as you will get it as you download it from Unreal. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that we can actually see Easy Sky and to get it. Um, what I usually do is I show the source panel on the left side of the content browser and the first time you open this you need to make sure that engine content and plugin content is both enabled. If you don't have that you will only see the content directory but not everything that's in the engine content. After you did that and you scroll down, you will see Easy Sky V2 content. And in there, there's a blueprints folder with a BP Easy Sky V2. And before we add it, let's make sure that we're going to remove the sky that's in here. So just delete it. But not only the sky, let's also look for directional light and remove the light source that's in there look at the fog actors that are in there and also remove those and finally let's also uh, remove the skylight and then there's probably also a post-process volume that we want to get rid of because we're going to use the one that comes with easy sky now as you can see it's still very bright and there could be a couple of reasons behind it i think the reason for this one is that there is still baked lighting somewhere in the scene Let's go to Window, World Settings, um, and in here you can indeed see in the Light Mask section, in the Advanced section of Light Mask, that there are 95 light maps stored in this level. If we enable the Force No Pre-Computed Lighting, that will mean that once we now do a light bake, it will remove all the light maps. So let's do that. Go to Build and then Build Lighting Only. And then you see that we have no lighting at all anymore. The only thing we still have is reflection captures. Um, but after we build reflection captures, those should be black as well, because there is no sky currently. So now we're good to go and we can add Easy Sky. We can do it two ways. We can either drag it in. Um, however, I don't really like navigating to this folder all the time. So what I usually do is I hit uh, Ctrl P on the keyboard. And then I search for Easy Sky V2, and there you have it. And then you can just drag it into the scene. Uh, let's put it on 000 in the scene. And you will see that you already have something that looks quite decent. Uh, these are the default properties, and they, sh they are set in such a way that they should work quite okay in every level that you have. It could be that it's a little bit too foggy, it could be that the uh, level is a bit higher than the sky is, so you need to probably move the location of the skybox. Uh, but in this case it works quite well. Um, I'm trying to find the zero point in the scene here. Well, that's over here. And as you can see the level is a bit lower to the ground and that's why everything is a little bit too foggy. So for this level I would say let's move it down a bit. So it's well a little bit in the center of the of the level. Yeah. Okay, that looks quite okay. Um, and if we start playing this, um, let's do simulate first, we will see that it already works quite well. 